which uh, usually is a uh, uh, non-orthodox procedure when you will start by thinking the, uh, the big brains, the horsepower behind the work. So what is a metaverse? Because metaverse has been here for uh, to stay, despite the fact that at the moment we see the industry and government a bit of uh, reluctance on adopting the metaverse after two years of hype. Now we are seeing uh, uh, people are uh, a bit reluctant, which is an excellent opportunity for us researchers because it means what we have been saying, the technology is not yet there, so a lot of research potential for research opportunity, but also a lot of business opportunities arise for, for the young generation. So uh, uh, then what are the metaverse platforms that can be used, and how what is the relationship between metaverse and digital twin? And since uh, the, the topic of the conference today is sustainability, we'll be talking about how we can put together the, uh, the pieces of the puzzle, the digital twin, Digital twin in the metaverse with artificial intelligence, and Dr. Z uh, Professor Zubi this morning showed us where basically AI is, is, is here to stay, and consequently, we'll show you how those three technologies, three major important technologies, plays together. So, let's uh, first go back to uh, Gartner Emerging Technology and what concerns my discussion today. So we see that the metaverse requires about 10 years to be mature, uh, but the potential is, is very big because the circle is very big there. Then we have the digital human or AI avatar. Also, the technology is not there, so it requires also about 10 years. It's on the upper circle, which is six, eight, nine years uh, time. However, when we look at digital twin, and that's the definition of digital twin that it's mostly used today in the industry here, which is the virtualization of industrial process. Mm -hmm. This already exists, and that uh, probably is not as much as we hope, but it's mature enough to start working on it. And uh, in uh, the uh, electronic co uh, co uh, commerce conference in January in uh, Las Vegas, Siemens CEO talked about digital twin and how they are now building all the, all the products using digital twin technology. Now, there are two or three concepts that when, when it comes to metaverse and digital twin combination come to in play. Web3, and that's something that many people confuse with metaverse and a special computing, and this is a terminology where I believe it's much more interesting. Oops. It's much more interesting from a research perspective because it means not only the three dimensionals that usually in 3D world we hear and see, but maybe a six dimensional environment. So, taking into it and looking at the research productivity, since most of us here are researchers. We see that up to uh, that up to 2021, also there was almost no papers talking about metaverse as such. There have been a lot of papers related to digital twin from one aspect and virtual reality, augmented reality uh, uh, from the other point, but nothing put them together. And then 2022, 2023, we see a, a surge in publication. 